everybody, Karen Roby and James Sanders here for Tech Republic. We're talking today about the trend of Linux uh, being available on laptops from major manufacturers. So the question, James, for you is, do you think 2020, do you see that being the year possibly of the Linux laptop? When you look at the origin of these types of things, mm -hmm. you've had System76 for over a decade making Linux systems available to end users. And now you've got, Dell's been doing it for at least the past five years on very enterprise focused, very business developer type focused laptops. Now Lenovo's doing it on their P series ThinkPads and that started in North America quite recently. It's mm -hmm. just been uh, a few months since that's been available in North America. You can get Ubuntu preloaded from the factory so you're not you know, having to pay the Windows tax or a Windows 10 license. And now Huawei is doing it in China with their MateBook series. Ah. So with that, of course, they're going to use a distribution that's a little more known in China called Deep in Linux. Mm -hmm. And it's Linux, it's open source, but the reason they're doing it is because, you know, they're going to, they're, they're having a lot of issues with the trade embargo. Mm -hmm. And this has been a story that's been going on forever. <laughs> and with that, it's just going to be, you know, how are they going to move forward in a marketplace where they might not really be able to obtain Windows licenses from Microsoft. So it's a little bit of a product of necessity this time. Mm -hmm. And that could plausibly, at least in China, really make 2020 the year of the Linux laptop. But there's always there's always a but in there, right? Right, right. So with this, there is, you know, actual benefit. Mm -hmm. There's going to be one of the pain points of trying to use Linux on laptops is that there's not always driver support. So things don't always work the way that you would expect them to, especially with like Matebooks, you've got the fingerprint reader mm -hmm. embedded in the touchpad. And those tend to not work that well on Linux. And with this, you might actually start to see real driver support coming. So it should be you know, platform agnostic. Like these things should work across any Linux distribution as long as that code is um, mainlined into the kernel, or if individual distributions just ship that extra binary, that extra driver. So there is going to be a bit of benefit, mm -hmm. um, but it's just going to be something that it's a little bit of a wait and see, you know, if those systems from Huawei will continue to be available outside of China, that's a little bit up in the air, right. but there's real potential here. Well, how do you think, though, that the, the situation with Huawei, how do you think it's different? And uh, you mentioned it benefiting everyone, or, or could potentially, and not just necessarily the users of Linux. The way that a lot of hardware drivers are made mm -hmm. depends on how Windows is implemented. And the way that Windows handles things is not always actually too standard, but when Windows is the standard, driver writers just write for Linux. So there's things in a ACPI that don't quite match up to how the standard is written. Um, you see that a little bit with Wi-Fi drivers. Just various bits of hardware that don't always quite match up to the way that on paper they should work. Mm -hmm. And that causes a lot of frustration for people trying to reverse engineer drivers on Linux that don't really have the original documentation from the manufacturer about how this is actually designed. It's very well-informed guesswork, basically. <laughs> and if things are a little more too standard, that's going to make hardware support work better. And when you have things written to standard, you should really have situations where, you know, every six months there's a new version of Windows 10 and things break. Mm -hmm. And if we can get more to standard, we can see a bit of a reduction in that type of breakage whenever there's a new version of Windows. All right. Well, if you want to learn more uh, about James's story, make sure you check out Tech Republic. Thanks so much for watching.